Yo guys, what is up and welcome back to Duconia Survival. Today we are starting out checking out Lol No Sir's Castle, which I believe this is our route up to it. He's been doing an awesome job. He's one of the more recent guys to have joined the server here. And I've, I haven't seen this castle since there was a floor plan basically. So there's probably a lot to see here. And I figured if we did the whole walk up the cliff face, it'd be pretty cool. So he's kind of has it going all the way down there to give you guys an idea of where we are on the map. We are right up here in the Northern and over here, that's this Thomas's castle. And if you go straight South, and then a little bit to the west, that's where we are. So he's just north, north, northeast of our location. And that's just kind of general idea of where we are in the world. And he wanted me to check this out last week, but we already checked out the other, the other builds. So it was kind of hard to do both at once. But today we are going to be checking this stuff out. And it's really, really cool. And I have not seen any of this before besides a few screenshots he's sent me here and there just trying to ask for some advice and things. But so these armor stands right here, I believe there's a torch inside of them. We we're trying to help him figure out how to light them up. And I believe there's a, a torch or something inside them, which looks really, really cool. And I think we're lagging. Um, okay, we are back. Good. Yeah, up here, these banners are really cool. I, I really like that cross stripe. I'm trying to look at a bunch of people's banners right now so we can get some cool ideas going for our Duconia map. But the chandelier up here is really awesome too. It looks like that's stained glass right above it. Yeah, that is, huh? And then those are the end rods hanging off. That's a really, really interesting design for such a small chandelier, but it works really, really well. <laughs> I actually really like that. That's really cool. Now it looks like here's a throne where you can just sit on a block of gold. Probably not the comfiest, but you know, we'll leave it. This castle is very much in the works. As you guys can see, there's not a, it's not completely finished yet at all, but he has a lot of stuff going with it. I'm hoping it's not too, do we have torches? We do have some torches. Let's go ahead. Do we know? There we go. Let's throw our helmet on. I don't know how safe it is up here. But yeah, so he's on the top of a snowy mountain. And it looks like most... Speaking of getting that helmet out, hello, creeper. You get out. Oh. 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 Oops. Luckily, explosions are turned off on this server. Yeah. Not ruining the people's builds that I'm visiting. Go me. Yeah, so that looks like what he's done so far in that area. He's kind of building the room by room instead of doing a whole layout, which is pretty cool. I like it. I really, really like the outside. We'll do a fly around with the elytra. And you guys can see the whole exterior, but it looks like he wants to have a walkway kind of coming up here, getting up to the top. As you can see, there's a bunch of different towers. This thing is insanely tall. And it puts my monastery to shame a little bit on the size front. So, you know, that's cool. It's fine. It's okay. We'll, we'll be all right. Oh, even crafting tables on the roof. This place has everything. I feel like that's temporary. Yeah, so we are way, way up here. You can see this tower is really, really tall. He's got a lot of still all the dirt scaffolding and things like that going up. You can see right there. He's using the stone brick into the brick for the top, though. That's pretty interesting. I thought that was Tudor for a second. But I like it. It's a cool way of using all... He, I think he's really using every single block we have to offer here in this that could possibly work with this palette let's i don't really know where we're going i'm just hoping this leads us all the way up to the top okay which way over this way can we get yep i just i don't want to fall off that is what we want to avoid at all costs is falling off and that is a hole okay well it looks like we're on top of the tower now this is pretty cool i'm assuming I think he's rebuilding this. I think this was built a while ago and he's redoing it. Looks like he's got a little bit of snow on the inside. But yeah, this place is looking really awesome. Sorry if there's motorcycle sounds in the background. Can't really avoid those. But yeah, let's get our rockets out right here. We got our elytra. It is looking great. We only have 10 rockets on us though. So let's go ahead and take a little flight. Let's get out here a little ways and Wow, this is this thing's actually pretty massive. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how we can get a good view of this. Let's go out this way and come back at it. Yeah, look at this. Look at just the shape of the castle. It's so natural. It's really working with the keep here itself, which I think is really freaking cool. This build is pretty awesome. I do hope he finishes terraforming out the mountains. And back here, there's a little bit of a bare side of the castle. You know, it's it's a magical castle. It can float. It's good. It's doing its it's doing its thing. But yeah, you guys can see here, this is kind of our 
little preview of Lil Noser's castle that he's got coming along. All survival built, which is just insane if you think about it. There's so much to this castle. And let's see if we can land in here. Yep, we can. Just like, look at this. This thing is massive, and that's all survival made. I really want to go find what mine he's just absolutely destroyed down below. But yeah, he's got a lot of work going on here. He's We can go check out his little starter place here. I don't think we've really checked out his place before. But yeah, so the path that we started on was right here. And then over here, he has his little starting home they lived in for a very long time. Well, building up the whole castle and everything like that. Just a nice little wheat field. Some houses here. Some cows that are totally humanely staying in a little pen. Yeah, that's, that's normal. That's fine. We'll just turn away. But yeah, so there's a lot of stuff going on here. It's really cool. Oh, what was that? There's some sound. I don't know. That was weird. Looks like this goes downstairs into storagey type stuff. And yeah. So guys, this has been Lol No Sir's castle and little house thing, house place, living area. We will go ahead and get started back on some stuff over in our new area of Thornpike that we're working on, and I'll catch you all over there. All right, we're back over here, and here is what we are gonna be working on today. I wanna get this house right here that's built up, or that's kinda laid out the general foundation. I wanna get the floor in place, I want to get the texturing done on everything that's going up here. So let's find our way up to the top of this guy. And pretty much what we're going to be doing is the similar style to what we're doing with all those houses over there way, way long ago. If you guys want to go check those out, there is the series down below, I believe should be. Yeah, probably. Hopefully. I don't know. Um, I think that's right. One, two, three. Nope. We want, we want the, wait, that's five. Yeah, no, sorry, I'm still, I'm trying to figure this out too. Well, we go forward and yes, no, yes, yes, this is it. And we do that. That looks right. Well, what do we do over there? So that's one, then two high, then two high. I think we did, we did one extra, but I think that's okay. I like that. We can have a little bit of height variation. This is okay. Happy little accident, like Bob Ross would call it. Good old Bob Ross. So we can do that. We can do that. You know, this might actually give us room for a second floor in this now that I'm thinking about it, which would be kind of cool. It would be cool to mess with. But that is pretty much how we want to get the root. That's pretty much the shape of the whole house. Now we can figure out what we want to do as far as the roof goes. We probably don't want that there because, you know, it kind of blocks everything. I believe we have some colored clays and whatnot in here. What do we have? That is interior stuff. And where is our other box of hardened? It's all hardened clay right there. Where is the actual one? This looks like the actual outside clays. Let's go ahead, since we have so much brown, let's go ahead and use a brown clay. Because that'll kind of work with the roof of this guy here, bringing those a little bit closer. I'm thinking on this one, this type of style we're using here, I think we're also going to do it back on this one just so it kind of works together with everything, you know? Our little furnace wall here that we've been using to cook up, oh, whoops, we've been using to cook up things in this area, but I think we're going to maybe move this house back a block, probably, yeah, so that we can actually fit it in here, and then do a simpler style to that guy so that there's two like that and then two like this. But also the three and the one might look interesting. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys want to see there and we can kind of figure that out. But this area, I'm just, I'm hoping to just kind of keep building with you guys and go from there. I know it's a whole kind of like different style to what we normally do in all this, these series. Do we have any half slabs of, st of the stone type? That's all cobblestone. That's all. And where's, there's, this is our stone chest. I like our stone chest. Yep, that should be good. We probably don't even need that many, but let's go like this and like that and like that. And we can go there, do that bit right there and bam and bam. What that means is we can come out here and do this. And I wanna go ahead and stack this guy up too high. So we have that one right there, which means we're going like that. That one right there, go there. Cool, perfect. That's our wall, our baseline right on this side. We can do this. That, that, and there. Is that right? I think so. 
That sounds right. Yeah, because that gives us... I think what we're going to do is going to be this. Yeah, now this sounds better. I don't know. I'm making this up as we go. <laughs> as you can see, I haven't really built with this style for a, quite a while. Haha, -ha, that kind of rhymed. I'm really funny. No, I'm not. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and build it up kind of evenly as we work our way across. And we can go ahead and do this guy right there, that guy right there, and bam, bam, bam. So quick, so efficient. We know what we're doing here. Please, thank you. Perfect, there, there, there. And let's go ahead and do that, that, that. Bam, 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 bam. And then we can do this little guy right down here. These ones are all gonna come out to be too high. And I believe that one goes three high. Sounds about right. This, no. I think we want to, I think we need to do that to be able to fit everything we want to fit in here. Luckily we have some extra, so it really doesn't matter if it drops down, but we just have a lot of height we're trying to get on this guy. So I think we're going to actually have to stack it up three times now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to have to do a three and then a two for, and then yeah, yeah, no, this is going to work out much, much better. Oops, I think that's a goner. Nope, we got it, we're good, we saved one. Yep, perfect, there we go. That's, that's what we want, this is looking great. All right, I know the wall, I know the roof is probably not the most exciting thing to see in the world, but for a building, roofs are kind of important, otherwise they look a little dumb. But we're gonna go ahead and, oh gosh, I cannot place blocks today. There we go, perfect. Roof complete. Let me get the texturing done on this guy just so it's not super all boring, constant stuff. All right, so we got a decent little texture variation going on here. This side is mostly the plastered stone at the top and kind of working down into that dark color. So it's a bit brighter on this side. I don't really like how flat the whole face is, but that's something to work with. I went ahead and put in the polished diorite, the large lighter stone slab up above the I put in some gray stained glass windows just to kind of give it a darker feel of the windows and we put all those slabs in above the window blocks as well above the door on this side but as you can see it's pretty cool and it's I went ahead and added the floor in on the inside I'm pretty happy with how it turned out and we got this door in here it got to the floor it it got the floor it got it it got it real well but I went ahead and threw in a second floor also because I was talking about while we we're building the roof that we might have room and would you look at that? We got a great little spot up here that we can throw some stuff in. Gran will probably fill these little bits in right here just to kind of keep it even instead of it being so weirdly tall, I guess. But yeah, so we got a lot of space in here and I'm pretty happy with how it's turning out. So today I really want to actually finish this whole house while we're kind of working on it. So what I want to do now is go ahead and grab some full birch planks right here because these are kind of <clears throat> sorry about that i've had some gunk in my throat recently it's been really bugging me but these are kind of a good way because we're not going to use this block in here but it's a good way we can kind of lay things out let's grab our axe just so we can good old choppy so we can actually you know take them away if we need to and move that right there yeah so what i want to do is i want to bring in a little bit of a wall right here and probably like that and in here have a little bit of a kitchen going on and we can have the we might get rid of this window and put the chimney going out on that guy but then over here i want to leave this out into a larger full second room that will have like a table in the middle some bookshelves and this area isn't meant to be super rich but i want them to have enough to like be living comfortably because they're more in the city area right here instead of being out rural over in the farmland and so that's kind of what I want to do right there. So we can come in, we can throw like a table right here. And I want to leave this kind of open as a path to there, then all the way straight to here. And that's how you can get upstairs. So we can kind of have an L-shaped path there or even like that. And then bam, just something like that because it be chairs and stuff in the way in here. But we can have a, t yeah, let's actually go ahead and move the table right to there. Then we can have some sort of a bookshelf or something right in here. 
And over here we can have our little kitchen station, kind of like that. And probably something in here with some, maybe, yeah, maybe something like that. Cool. It looks good. I think that's the plan so far. Let me get some work on this and I'll come back with you guys once I get a little bit more stuff done and then we can take a look at the second floor. But I got an idea in my head of how I want this to turn out looking down here. So I got a little carried away with the downstairs guys, but I think it turned out pretty cool. I gotta say, I'm a big fan of this. So you kind of come in here and it's just kind of open right here. We got an armor stand. I didn't have any leather on me, so I couldn't make any leather armor to throw on it, but I'll put that in there later. And then in here, you just kind of come inside. It's a nice little like a bench type seating area for the little table. I threw a comparator up here to get some more candles and we got some just some regular bookshelves there, but the table can seat the whole family pretty easily. And we got some more chests and stuff right over here and just storage and a crafting table. Then we kind of come over here into the kitchen area, which is basic, it's pretty dark. Let's, where can we throw a torch in here? I guess we can do one right there just so things don't spawn. But yeah, so it's pretty dark, but right over here we just got a nice little flower pot, got another chest up on the top, and a row of crafting tables at the bottom, a furnace with the chimney bit kind of going all the way out. And yeah, it I, I like this. I think it turned out pretty well. The upstairs though we haven't touched yet. We still gotta go ahead and get to work on that and see what we wanna do up there. But I, I've got all of our birch back and let's go ahead and just like this whole area right here. It's pretty cool. Big, can we break you down and put you like right over there? Does that work? What's the light level right over in here? Light level 12, 11. Cool. Shaders always mess with me now that I've been playing vanilla without shaders. I always forget what the light level is or needed and things like that. So this is our upstairs area. What we want to do is we want to come in and fill those in. Probably we have brown hardened clay. Let's just do it with that. Just keep it one uniform texture. But it kind of looks weird with the walls being all of that. But I think after, oh, I did put this oak beam here in the middle just to kind of break up the roof and make sense for putting in those trap doors kind of going all the way up to the top. But I want to go ahead and do a bed there and a bed there and a bed here. And I think in the middle, we'll create a little bit of a doorway right in here, kind of like that. So this comes in here, then we can have a little bit of a closet right there and a closet right here, maybe? No, no closet there. I don't know, something right in there, maybe. Well, no, let's turn this bed this way and we could have like a whole thing right here. Yeah, no, I like that, that, that looks cool. I think that's better. And then this, it'll make sense for this bed being here as well. And it just kind of, I know it's really small cramped. It's only too high, but it's the upstairs of the area. There's no windows to it quite yet. So it kind of, I, I like this though. I think it's going to be really simple and easy. What we could do though, is we could come in here with something like this and throw a little nice window in there. That would be kind of cool to do. I'll see what I can work out and maybe throw something in there. But let me get to work on this guy and I'll show you guys what the final product is once we're done with all, all of it. Okay, we managed to get the window in place. I think it looks all right. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I mean, probably need to mess with it a little bit more later, but I think that's probably the best we can do here in survival. I went ahead though, you'll see him on the hot bar. I went ahead and made some leather armor and I dyed them light gray because I feel like everywhere else we're just kind of, ooh. Right, yeah, I put those on there too. Um, let's get rid of those and put these on here. Look at that though. I like that, it's just the color variation because we can throw these guys back in here. And we have another set of leather armor up in here, I believe, somewhere, right, didn't we? Yeah, so we have the regular set of leather armor there that just kind of has that orangey color to it. But then when we turn it into the light gray, it looks a lot more like, just kind of like a people's clothing type thing. It doesn't look so much like armor now. It looks just kind of like casual wear to me, more or less. I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. Looks more like the sh what they'd get from the sheep over there. So it, I think it works. This area right here, I was thinking about it. We don't have any trapdoors on us, but we could probably throw one right here and make it into an actual door. But that's something we can do later. 
And up here, here is our bedroom. We just got a kid's bed right here. Random little like rock, like pet rock or something. I don't know, on the ground. And I got a nice little Florida lease painting. Um, cramp table with a little candle on it. In here, another papers and things, another bed, a little carpet and a bed and some crafting tables and all that good stuff. But guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. I do hope you all enjoyed. It's been a little bit of a weird episode. I know. I'm sorry. It's just kind of getting into the rhythm of things. I don't know. Randomly, I just kind of fall out of a suit with these Duconia ones, but we're getting back into it. We got a lot of work done today. We built this whole house um, starting from just the basic shell of it. But guys, Thank you for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe to Eden down below. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about our new building. And as always, I will see you in the next episode.